Hi there everyone, we are at the Met Office. This is the climate and weather agency for all of the UK. British people are a little bit obsessed by the weather, I'm gonna tell you that. And one thing they love is when it gets hot. Yes, it does get hot in the UK sometimes. <laughs> and when a record gets broken, like a, the highest temperature ever, British people go absolutely crazy. And do you know what? That's what this video is all about, breaking the temperature record. Because here, in the Met Office library and archive where they keep all the collections, we have the thermometers that we used to measure those record temperatures. How objectivity is that? Catherine Ross, you run the show here in the library and the archive. <laughs> What's the first one here? Right, so this mercury and glass thermometer here, this recorded the record-breaking temperature at Faversham in Kent, and that was on 10th of August 2003, and it recorded 38.5 degrees in the shade. So, okay. yeah, that was, that was warm. May I? I'm going to be very careful because it's got yep, mercury in it. I'll just put it I've in your it. hands. I've got it. So, presumably, this was at some kind of weather station or an official recording place. It wasn't just in someone's backyard. Yeah, it was a Met Office official recording station. Okay, and now it lives happily ever after here in the library. Absolutely, yes, in, in our displays. Fantastic. There you go. History here in my hands. But that's not it. <laughs> That record was due to be broken. What happened next? So if we put that one down... I cannot tell you how <laughs> nervous she is about me holding this mercury thermometer. I will it's not... the fact it will roll away if we're not careful. Oh, I see. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's very round. There we go. Very round. <laughs> um, Where so, do we go next? So what happens next is we wait quite a while, actually. Mm -hmm. 2003 was this one. Then 2019, we have to wait for the next record. 16 years! Yep, and in Cambridge Botanical Gardens on the 25th of July 2019, we broke the record with this thermometer here, but it only went up a fraction. So from 38.5, we went up to 38.7. Do you know what? I remember the day that happened, because I remember thinking, oh, it was in the Botanical Gardens. Isn't that interesting that that's where the measurement happened? Mm -hmm. So, And now, all these years later, I'm holding the instrument in my hand that did it. Yep, it says Cambridge, so you, we, we can promise it really is the one. Okay. <laughs> um, obviously you're looking here at a, an electrical thermometer, so that had to be brought out of the gardens and sent back here. All the calibrations were run, we knew we could trust that data, and we then said, could we have that for the collection? Because it's the next record and it's taken us 16 years to, to break the record, so you know, it was a significant date, if you like. If you hadn't stepped in and said, can I have that please, what would have happened? Would they have probably sent it back to go back to yeah, the... Yeah, it would have just gone back into... You know, it, was, it, was, you know, it was operational kit. It mm. would have gone, gone back into the, you know, either that weather station or whichever next one needed a piece of kit. But you thought, no, I want that. Yeah. I, I thought it belongs yeah. here. Yeah, I want that because that, record, that was the, the one that recorded that temperature. You, the, you truly have the spirit of objectivity in your soul, I can tell. Because <laughs> this is a brilliant thing to have kept. I'm assuming that's the part that does the temperature. Yeah. yeah? Okay, there's the thermocouple or whatever that is. We're going higher, we're going <laughs> higher, and we've got the thermometer. What's next? <laughs> so we move on again, but sadly, not nearly as far. So 16 years to go 0.2 of a degree. Yep. But then 2022, so three years, not only do we break the record, but we go from 38.7 to 40.3. Wow. And... The people of Britain were very calm about the temperature going above 40 degrees, weren't they? It, was, it hardly made the news at all. It made the news to a very significant extent. So this is the thermometer that you know, doesn't look much like a thermometer, but there's your metal bit on the end again. And that was recorded 40.3 at Coningsby, so RAF Coningsby, which okay. is, again, a Met Office station. This is a, an Air Force base? Yes. OK. Do you know what? I know this is arbitrary and trivial, but the fact that the highest temperature ever recorded in the UK was recorded right there where my <laughs> finger is makes me feel like I, I like it. I yeah. like that I'm holding it. You're holding history. Yeah. yeah. And again, presumably this was calibrated, brought back here for calibration. Exactly. And then, and then snaffled by you. Yeah, I mean, by this point, you, our observations team had kind of figured out we'd probably want it. So I didn't really have to ask for it. They sent it to us. Okay. Um, but I mean, there's, there's two sides to this story. So yeah, it's kind of, it's exciting. It's a record-breaking thermometer. But the other side of it is we've broken the 40 degree barrier. That's not possible in this country without man-made climate change. And we got from 38.5 to 40.3, we jumped not points of a degree, but whole degrees mm. widely across Southern England in just three years. And that's scary. We're not gonna stop here though, people. It's time for 
bonus thermometer. <laughs> Look at this thermometer, people. To the untrained eye, just another lovely old school thermometer. But there's something written on it that gives away how special this is. Tell us the secret. So you're looking here where it says BT number one, and that's Board of Trade number one. And it's the very first thermometer that was issued to the Meteorological Office back in 1854. The Met Office's first thermometer. Presumably this also is a record breaker because the first temperature they ever recorded must have been the highest they'd recorded. Yeah, so, absolutely. So technically it's another record <laughs> technically breaker. Technically it is a record breaker, you're right. But yeah. very, very special to have in the collection. Do we know anything about it, where it was? where it was I don't know where it was used at all. No, no, you just sort of inherited it in the collection and thought that's pretty special. Yeah. Number one mercury thermometer. Love it. I could make videos about thermometers all day long <laughs> and quite possibly will. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out all the usual places for links to more videos from the Met Office and more videos about the weather. You can actually see different days and how sunny or not sunny it was. So this one, very sunny. If you'd like to support the project, help us make more videos like this, why not become one of our Patreon supporters, just like the people whose names you see on the screen at the moment. Not only are they helping us make more videos, there's also some bonus content for patrons including extra pictures and videos from behind the scenes. It was a big, big day in history of the Royal Society that day. It was a big day in history. I, I, I'm surprised it's not a bank holiday here in the UK. It should be. Mm. It really should be. This sort of moves. Why does this it move? Does. Because it's mounted on ship. You can see in the special, uh, either the captain's cabin or later in the special chronometer room. Because as the ship pitched and rolled, then this remained virtually flat.